Okay, let's close the chapter of trusting your data. The last step that we have to look at is how do we integrate this data in our current environment with the current data that we already have. So for this, you need to check for mainly three things. These three things are going to be that you want to be able to identify data. What I mean by this is that if you had a user that in one system, his name was John Doe, well, you don't want that the name in the existing system uh, differs from the one that you are importing. Say that you are misspelling the name or something like that. So you want to have coherence in the way that the same data object is being expressed in the new data that you are adding and in the existing data that you uh, currently have. Extending on this, there might be uh, also differences in the way that this data is formulated in both systems. Might be that John Doe in one system is J Doe in a different system. It might be still referred to the same person, but you want to make sure that you have um, continuity between the two systems that is always referred in the same way. And the last thing that is really important is to have cohesion between the metrics that you're using to define certain properties of the data in one system and in the other system. For instance, if you're measuring some things in uh, pounds, you want in the existing system or in the other data system to be also be measured in pounds, not in kilograms, for instance. So you want to have a common denominator across all the units that you're uh, using to measure uh, the different features of your data. After this data has been integrated in the system, it's time for you to run analysis and look at what results are you getting once that you integrate this new information. If you see some irregularities, if you see something that is unusual, then you have to really go and dip back again with uh, a lot of care and in detail within that new data. You know, you have to try, you have to test it and see if that data is, is causing these irregularities. Then if you realize that there are some irregularities, perhaps you're getting new insights, but perhaps it's just spurious information, perhaps it's just noise that you're getting out of the new data. Data doesn't have to be perfect to gain insights from it. You know, still, you can learn something from the environment, from data that is far from perfect, but you have to uh, deal with this data with caution, and you have to be aware of the pitfalls that might be in front of you. Now, the advantage of doing this is that you are aware of what mistakes can happen, and you know how to take the results you're getting out of that information. 